The Great Kapok Tree by Lynn Cherry. Two men walked into the rainforest. Moments before, the forest had been alive with sounds of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now, all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men and wondered why they had come. The larger man stopped and pointed to a great kapok tree. Then he left. The smaller man took the axe he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack! 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 The sounds of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop! 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 The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and neck. Whack! Chop! Whack! Chop! Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree. Before he knew it, the heat and hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A boa constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slithered down the trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the, at the gash the axe had made in the tree. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear, Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It is my home, where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. Senor, my hive is in this kapok tree, and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower collecting pollen. In this way, I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, all living things depend on one another. Does the man chop down the great kapok tree? Read this book to find out.